How you doing? It's Bill Stage. It's time for Behind the Business with Ted Doty from the Camera Corner. How are you, sir? Not too bad. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I know it's a, kind of a weird time um, in, in the world today. First off, um, just kind of tell people what, uh, what you guys are doing differently, business hours, that sort of thing. Uh, we left our business hours the same. We didn't change anything there. Um, we're giving the customer the option of curbside. Um, if they place a $25 order or more, I'll actually deliver it to their house. Uh, if they don't want to get out or you know, they're concerned. So we've decided to do that. Yeah. And then we still have the customer that walks through the front door and, and gets service that way. Uh, we're kind of leaving it up to the individual to, to make their own decision on which way they want to do it. Gotcha. Um, tell us a little bit about what uh, the camera corner is up there. What do you guys do? Uh, we're a uh, full photo retail uh, and printing um, store. So we offer uh, anything from four by sixes up to uh, large format prints being, you know, anything over five foot by a hundred foot if they need to be. Uh, so we can offer that. Um, camera sales, obviously. Uh, we try to keep up with all the latest technology and all the cameras that are out there and uh, accessories to go along with it. Uh, we do rentals and used. Um, we also do uh, we also do print press work as well, so business cards. Uh, for Dwyer and Michaels, we did a full life size uh, cutout of him. Yes, for one yes, of their promos. Yeah, that thing so, has been uh, scaring the hell out of me in the studio for quite okay. some time. Yeah. yeah, so he came to the store. We took a picture of him, and I can't even remember what it was for, but they uh, used it for something like that. So promotional <laughs> items in there. So, Gotcha. Well, that's, uh, it sounds like you guys got a lot going on up there. What's, the, the, what's your favorite part up there? What do you like doing? Um, I really enjoy printing end of it, and then also the – educational part for the customer, helping them get through issues or situations that aren't working the way they want to get them the, the ideal photograph. I mean, anything that can get them the best image and makes them feel good, kind of in return makes me feel good that we've gotten them to that point, so. Now, do you work with um, just professional photographers or is it everybody? Uh, we work with everybody. Um, actually, I'd say most of our our customers are probably prosumers, I guess, that would be uh, extreme hobbyists, I guess you'd kind of call them, you know, they, yeah. they uh, enjoy photography. Uh, a lot of them are retired, some of them aren't, but that's their uh, go-to as a hobby to, to do that. So um, I'd kind of call it the prosumer. I mean, we do help pros, you know, we get some from the times and that, but uh, I hate to say it, they're kind of thin in this area. I mean, the, the uh, photographer in that aspect is is down a little bit to where it used to be back in the day and you know there's there's voids being filled that the uh cell phone cannot accomplish i mean right you're not going to get a picture of a fox you know 600 feet away with a cell phone so right yeah that is interesting i'm sure there is a kind of a line people are are walking because technology has gotten a lot better the camera on our phone was a lot better you know back in the day with those uh, disposable cameras we used to roll and throw in the in the box for uh for uh producing um what uh what are you seeing on on this side as far as the technology goes what are you excited about uh where photography's come uh going back to the film days i mean uh because image sensors and digital technology has gotten so advanced, our ability to photograph something in very low light has become just unbelievable. I mean, uh, you know, we don't, even with our cell phones, we don't use an external light anymore. The image sensor can capture just about in any light mm -hmm. and the image sensors and cameras are following suit. So people are getting better uh, images of their kids in sports and, and that, that, has never been able to be accomplished really in, in the past. So that's really the biggest advancement in that area. Now, um, are you a, a professional uh, uh, photographer? What, how did you get started at the camera corner? Uh, well, I, was, I actually started here in, when I was 16, uh, back in 89. Mm -hmm. And uh, I enjoyed photography then. I mean, I delivered newspapers when I was a kid, saved my money, bought my cameras, and uh, as soon as I turned 16, I, I 
found a local place and, and went and put my application in and started here. And uh, I've collected quite a few years through here now. I've taken a little bit of a hiatus in there in the middle, but I came back and ended up buying the place. So, Oh, gotcha. And um, how much time do you spend taking pictures nowadays? Uh, well, th- you know, the business keeps me quite busy, so I don't take as much as I used to, but uh, I've got a uh, 15 year old son and an 18 year old daughter. So most of mine are, are kids in sports and, mm-hmm. and you know, the daughter had homecoming and stuff like that. So it's more of family oriented style pictures that I, I currently shoot. So when you were talking about um, going back and having your, your paper route to, to save money for a camera, what got you into it? Why did you start taking pictures? Uh, I've always been kind of a visual person. Um, I'm not very good at the music end of it. So photography has just always been something that I've enjoyed and loved to, to work with. And, uh, the technical aspect of it, you know, gives you the challenge, uh, to try to move forward. And I guess that's really where it's always been. I've just like, always liked the visual. I mean, back in the day, reading the national geographics and stuff like that. I mean, that was really my intention all along was to be a photographer, but um, this works out just as well. I enjoy, you know, trying to get people to get the best image. So, yeah. Did you do a lot of nature shoots back then when you first, when you first got your camera, you were working so hard getting your your paper out? Yeah, I'd always shoot and print and, uh, you know, I mean, I never went for the norm. I, I mean, Everybody thought it was a little weird. I, I took a really, I considered a really cool image of a headstone and it actually hung around above my bed for the longest time. I don't think my wife would let me put it there now. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, you know, you just see them images that you, you know, enjoy and that. And yeah. uh, so back then, yeah, I mean, I would take weekends and just go shoot for an entire weekend. And, you know, I might shoot 50, 60 rolls through a weekend and, you only get a couple of images that I really enjoyed and yeah. that was, uh, that's where it was at. So what do you think, what do you think the key is once you see something and you go, I, I, I want to capture this, what is it that translates to the, to the film that makes it a good picture? Uh, one, it's personal perspective. I mean, you know, an image that I may love somebody else may not. I mean, that's the biggest thing, but, you know, getting the right light and uh, the motion and capturing the the emotion of the image that you're trying to get, you know, it being sports or uh, nature or, or an animal. I mean, you know, you can take hundreds and hundreds of pictures of eagles, which is our, our hot spot around here. Mm-hmm. And, and you may take 2000 images and only have one that you makes you go wow i mean that's that's the whole object of it is to get yourself to go wow when you see it done i mean that's the that's the key and what about post-production what what are your thoughts on what what do you do once you get that picture to make things (laughs) pop well since i started off on film and i shot film for so long um I'm not a big post production person. Mm -hmm. So most of the people that uh, are into photography, it just really, I think, depends on how they grew up. Mm -hmm. Um, If you're in the new age of of photography, uh, they'll take the shot as fast as possible and then they'll do a lot of the post production work and create some just outstanding images in post production that I have never been able to really do myself. I, I try to get the image original and not uh, do that much post-production option, but there's people that do un, ungodly things with post-production. I mean, they just do beautiful work, so. Yeah, yeah, it's a new world, you know. 20 yes. years ago, you, you couldn't get yeah. the kind of images these guys are producing now, that's for sure. That's right, yeah, definitely not. Yeah, what's the biggest pain point up there at the camera corner? What would you like to, to try to remedy? Um. You know, I mean, obviously in this age of technology, the biggest situation and that, that's a pain for us is, is that, uh, you know, the Amazons and uh, our biggest competitor in, in the online market is a company called b and um, You know, they have obviously a little bit more funds and capital to work from. And uh, because of that, they have 
better relationships with the with the manufacturers and um, they you know a new product that comes available they they normally have the first dibs at it so you know it's it's unheartening sometimes that we lose business to that area um, but I understand on the other end I mean I can't afford to have you know 500 cameras of everything in stock so yeah. you just got to do the best you can and try to appease the masses as much as it's possible right so um you talked about um educating the consumer and that's part of the the job that you really enjoy what are some of the the major questions the uh, frequently asked questions of the consumer that uh, that that you deal with quite a lot um it's a lot of it's the how-to you know if they're after uh uh you know right now uh baby wildlife is is on the rise right now when baby what's you know, baby wildlife to, uh, like foxes right now is we got a few photographers that are big into photographing some baby foxes. I was just picturing like a, a baby photo, like in yeah. a jungle or something. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, getting them to get to the point where it, it's getting the shot that they want. Um, yeah. when it's uh Eagle season, getting the, helping them get the Eagle shot. Um, uh, senior pictures, obviously this year is being a tough one trying to get the, you know, the right shot there. And, mm -hmm. you know, they'll see something online and they'll come into us either on their phone and say, Hey, what can I do to, to accomplish this? Yeah. And then it's working with them to try to get them either the right lighting or maybe their shutter speed or their aperture in the, mm -hmm. in the right direction and, and get them into that point so they can capture the image that they saw, but with their kid. And how important is the technology or the, uh, the actual hardware, the camera itself, do you need lighting rigs? Do you need some bounce boards? What do you, uh, what do you think uh, about that? Like, like I said, it's with the newer image sensors and the technology, it's, it's really amazing what they can do without all the extras. Mm -hmm. Um, and even then the technologies improve so much. Uh, I'll go back to my film days. You know, we used to have cords that we had to attach our camera yeah. and wireless technology is, uh, come so far along that, you know, it's, it's really doing a fantastic job in that, in that aspect of it. So we don't yeah. see uh, all these cables and, and we can make adjustments on our camera without having to run, you know, 25 feet over, make an adjustment on the light. We can just do it right on our camera and do it through there. So the part of that, I wouldn't say is, is as, as difficult or as inconvenient as what it was past gotcha so. so somebody's been taking some interesting photos using their cell phone and they want to take a next step up to uh up their game what's your advice i point and shoot cameras have kind of got away um so there's uh they call them a premium point and shoot canon and sony have both gotten into that market mm -hmm. it's a larger image sensor which is going to perform better in low light and give us more of that uh, better image. Um, they're focusing towards parents that want to take good pictures of their kids in sports. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we've all seen the picture of a kid playing basketball from the bleachers and a cell phone and, you know, he's a half an inch tall and yeah. you can't really see anything. So Sony and Canon realized that and they've designed and built cameras to uh, accommodate that and, and make it work for people in that aspect or that, mm. that situation. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, it's, and it, it's an exciting world these days, that's for sure. Uh, and the technology just yeah. keeps getting better and better. So uh, what else, uh, Ted, what else do we want to talk about with the camera corner? Uh, did, we, did we hit everything? Did, how do people uh, get a hold of you? Uh, you we, they, we're available on our website, uh, thecameracorner.com. That's unfortunately our biggest uh, problem is we're the camera corner um, a lot of people oh, put in yeah. camera corner.com but it's actually the camera corner who owns that we need to break some kneecaps uh yeah <laughs> unfortunately the guy beat us to it so he's uh i, I know him so they're they're friends of ours so oh, okay uh, it's unfortunate but we all gotta you know when the dot coms were available we we should have jumped on more at, at that time so yeah but, um, you can call us. Uh, we always prefer that people stop in and see us. Mm -hmm. um, it is tough for us to try to keep our uh, our website fully up to date. Um, mm -hmm. We're not a huge staff, so uh, when you got I don't know I think about five thousand different items in the store, 
keeping them all accurately and up on the website is tough, right. but if people see something we're not out of, we just always ask if you just give us a ring or, you know, mm -hmm. to email us or something like that. But sure. That's always great because sometimes it's here and we just haven't been able to unfortunately get to all the items. Gotcha. All right. Thecameracorner.com is where you go for, uh, for Ted and the gang up there at the camera corner. Uh, thank you so much for spending some time with me today, Ted. Oh, thank you very much. I enjoyed it.